I'm here today with the Reverend Greg Harris, who's the National Director of the Bush Church Aid Society. Many of you will know that BCA uh, generously supports the Reverend James Damon, who's our evangelist at Mudgee, and the Reverend Stephen Clough, who's an assistant uh, in the Cathedral Parish. And we're so grateful to you, Greg, for that support. But now BCA is going to uh, support us at West Wyalong, in Cowra and Cobar, as long as we can find the right people for those yeah. places. What is it about those three towns that BCA thought, yes, we'd love to partner with the diocese for those three places? Well, Mark, it's great to be with you. Uh, the, shorter ends, the short answer is, you asked us. <laughs> well, we, I can remember the conversation where I said, tell me, what, what are the places you would like us to help you with? And uh, these were three names and mm -hmm. you helped us to think through them. Uh, Cobar, for instance. Cobar, a small place, not a lot going on at the moment. They can't afford a full-time minister, not even a part-time minister. Mm -hmm. And so BCA, we want to see good gospel ministry happen there. And we say, well, if we can come in, we think that can happen. That's uh, so exciting, Greg. Uh, I don't think ministry in those three places necessarily would be easy. And yet the whole of the history of BCA is built on ministers who are sacrificial and pioneering and that, that gritty get on with it ministry. What would you say to people who might be considering coming to work in those three places? Uh, I would say that's exactly right. Uh, the person who held my role right at the beginning, uh, a gentleman called SJ Kirkby, he once said, we don't need pious ninnies, uh, which is a phrase you don't hear very often anymore, but we need people of grace, grit and gumption, and that is still the case. And the other thing I would say too is, it's gonna be an adventure. <laughs> Uh, and in many ways, an adventure that you're never going to experience in, say, some of the coastal areas or particularly in the big cities. You actually become a chaplain to the whole town. You get to share with a whole town in ways that you'll never uh, have that opportunity in the city. So yes, going to places like Coba and Cowra and West Wyalong and all the other places within your diocese and across Australia, it's not going to be easy. But if your heart beats faster for the country, God is definitely putting that on your heart. And so we're going to say, come, come and, uh, and take up the challenge. Greg, that's so exciting. And look, if this has sparked an interest for you and you'd love to explore ministry in West Wyalong, in Cowra and Cobar, well, please be in contact with uh, Greg or myself because we would love to explore that opportunity with you.